Tiger and Bunny have a great assortment of characters that fall into different parts of the moral spectrum. You have heroes, you have villains, and you have some characters that are neither heroes nor villains like Lunatic. And then there's newcomer He is Thomas, introduced in Tiger and Bunny Season 2. Thomas has had an interesting arc in the event that he's very similar to Lunatic. More times than not, his character is morally gray, despite being a member of the First League. So how did he get to this point? This is why Thomas is an anti-hero. Let's talk about his character arc, his similarities to Barnaby and Lunatic, his dynamic with Subaru, and more. Fair warning, there are spoilers up ahead, so if you haven't seen the newest season yet, go watch that first and then come back. Let's recap on what we know about Thomas so far. Feel free to skip to the next chapter to avoid the recap, but be warned, you may miss some important details later on in the video. When Thomas Torres was 9 years old, he and his younger sister Ruby lost their parents in a car accident. As a result, they were both sent to an orphanage, but because he was a next, no one would adopt a pair. Thomas and Ruby would seek refuge in the slums after escaping, and one day, they were harassed by two hoodlums. Although initially getting the hoodlums to back off, one of them pulls out a gun and shoots Ruby in the leg, and then the two proceed to beat up Thomas. After this, Ruby gets adopted and sent off elsewhere. Although the criminal was caught who shot his sister, this would affect Thomas so much to the point he looked up to L.L. Alden, a rogue hero whose catchphrase was, you must believe in your own strength. He then does various part-time jobs to put himself through the Hero Academy so no one else would have to endure what he did. On October 8, 1980, Thomas is in the First League of Heroes along with the likes of Tiger and Barnaby and goes by the name he is Thomas, partnering with Subaru Sengoku, also known as Mr. Black. The two are sponsored by Jungle and paired up via the buddy system and Thomas manages to assist in the armed robbery by knocking one robber out with a tire and takes another's guns while putting tires on them to catch them. At the following party, Thomas refuses the help of the veteran heroes and agrees to be business partners at Subaru's suggestion. However, the two manage to learn from both Kotetsu and Barnaby that even at odds, partners can still work together if they form a strong enough partnership. Due to his heated actions, Mr. Black becomes backup for he as Thomas, and the former almost botches an operation to catch Veron by getting antsy, but the heroes manage to apprehend and catch the criminal. At Kotetsu's suggestion, Subaru apologizes to everyone, surprising Thomas. After overhearing a pair of necks going around and attacking random heroes, Thomas wonders if it's due to a pair of criminals that hate necks, as discrimination is on the rise, and possibly due to his childhood experience. Eventually, he also warms up to some of the heroes, seeking Sky High out for training advice due to his physique. He and Mr. Black also help out Sky High and the other heroes when a building starts to collapse after a press conference. Not long after this, Mr. Black traps a criminal in the alleyway who feigns defeat at first, and when Thomas shows up, the criminal shoots at Mr. Black but misses and hits a young girl in the leg instead, causing Thomas to have flashbacks and then almost lose control on a criminal. Yuri Petrov calls him into the Judicial Bureau office and tries to ask about his experience along with what happened to his sister, but Thomas doesn't cooperate and is suspended for his actions. When Subaru asks about his past to try to help, Thomas responds by saying that he doesn't want to trust anyone. Barnaby states that he was like that too, but promises that he can trust people here. Eventually, Thomas leaves and Barnaby is advised by his friend Matia that he can help by showing Thomas with actions, that they can trust him and that they care about their comrade. Carlotta from Jungle tells the three about his past after not being able to find him, and Thomas overhears Hugon and Mugon admiring L.L. Alden. As he's leaving the museum, he's stopped by a couple who asks for his help and he helps them home. The two offer to make Thomas lasagna as he hasn't had it in eight years, and after dinner, the wife states that they asked him for help because he looked lonely and wanted to cheer him up. This reminds him of his sister saying something similar in the past as he's getting ready for bed. He notices that all the heroes are using blue stress relief balls like he does to show their support. Harlotta then calls him and advises him that Barnaby's idea was to show him that they cared about him and his suspension is lifted. However, it is revealed that the wife and husband drug Thomas and are a pair of criminals who break into houses, lure victims from the museum and drug them, and then frames them for breaking in by using the victim's fingerprints. This doesn't go to plan though as Thomas recovers and enacts revenge on the two, swearing to never trust again. After Bunny is hurt after an explosion at the art museum, Thomas and Subaru reunite as the latter shows his research and wants to cooperate, showing his concern. When Vincent, the next who hurt Barnaby is defeated, Hugon and Mugon make themselves known. Thomas comes up with the idea to research their enemies so they can help Dragon and Origami and is looking for blackouts to narrow down the two. He also deduces that Mugan can teleport, but as they arrive on scene, Mugan teleports away. Hugan and Mugan attack Karina and Ryan, and while Thomas is injured, Subaru tries to defend Thomas. 
Rog Bison escorts Thomas, Subaru, and Laura to escape while he holds the twins off. Although Thomas is defiant, Rock forces him away. After the crew are healed from their encounter, Thomas informs Barnaby of their reason why they want to defeat heroes and what he knows about their powers. Subaru once again tries to convince Thomas to trust him before they all fight Hugon and Mugon. Initially, Thomas is able to hold off Mugon with Cat, but his injury from his previous fight makes it difficult to restrain Mugon and the twins reunite, attacking the heroes and further injuring Thomas. The four attack Hugon again but are beaten back. However, Tiger and Bunny manage to overload Hugon's body and break parts of his body to restrain his strength. Magical Cat, Mr. Black, and Thomas all team up as Kotetsu and Barnaby recover. Cat gives Thomas the idea to taunt Hugon so they can overload his body further, and as he's about to retaliate against Thomas, Subaru jumps in front, protecting Thomas and convincing his partner to beat him. When Cat defeats Mugon, Thomas uses one arm to restrain Hugon with Tiger and picks up Bunny to attack, resulting in Hugon taking critical injury as he attacks himself. Thomas is thanked by his teammates, proving he can trust them and they can trust him, and also thanks Subaru as they recover in the hospital. Let's talk about Thomas's character arc and why he's a dark hero. Compared to the rest of the First League, Thomas stands out to me because outside of Barnaby, which I will discuss later on in the video, he goes down a darker path that none of the heroes have gone down yet. For the most part of the season, he shows great restraint and tends to do things by the book, all while being reserved, but his story gets expanded upon in Episode 8 and this is where we start to see the darker side of Thomas. As I mentioned before, Due to the criminal that Mr. Black corners fires a shot that strikes a civilian in the almost exact spot that his sister was shot, Thomas's rage kicks in and he begins to mercilessly punish the criminal. While Barnaby almost did this to Jake Martinez, it was thanks to Kotetsu's influence that he realized he would be no better than him if he killed him. This is the key difference between the two heroes. Despite the criminal's pleas, Thomas doesn't stop and it's not until that Mr. Black restrains him that the attack stops. This action is so surprising that Hero TV is forced to cut to a commercial and Thomas is given a suspension as a result by Yuri Petrov. Speaking of which, Thomas can also be compared to Lunatic in many ways, another vigilante who does things his own way. Both have similar backgrounds, traumatic childhood experiences that changed their lives as they grew up to use next powers in their own way. Yuri never officially became a hero and instead became the vigilante lunatic. He would go to any extreme to punish those who deserved it. Thomas does this on two occasions as well. The aforementioned criminal he loses control over and the two criminals who drugged him and took advantage of his kindness. Yuri however knows that not all who are deemed guilty by certain parties are guilty. An example of this being when he knows Kotetsu is innocent and didn't kill Samantha Taylor coming to his aid. Outside of his incidents, Thomas continues to do things by the book in a similar manner and despite Hugon and Mugon being criminals that have physically hurt him the most, by this point he shows restraint and only does enough to stop them from hurting anyone else. Given the fact that he knows about Thomas' situation, it can be implied that Yuri understood what he was dealing with and is the reason why he only gave Thomas a suspension. In the beginning of the season, it is clear that Yuri is unsure about the buddy system being effective at all and he could have easily made the decision to terminate the program, placing blame on Mr. Black for not interfering quick enough. But again, he only suspends Thomas and even tries to understand if this incident reminded Thomas of what happened with the sister. What's also very interesting to note is that Thomas was also partially inspired by L.L. Alden, whose catchphrase was, you must believe in your own strength. Alden was also the rival to Mr. Legend, Yuri's father, and had seemingly countless battles that pushed each other to the max. It is possible that Yuri may have also looked up to this mentor like Thomas did, as he despised his father for becoming alcoholic and beating both him and his mother. The difference though between Thomas' admiration for L.L. Alden compared to Hugon and Mugon is that he knows there's a way to apply that principle, in contrast to them doing so to prove they can beat anybody they want for the fun of it. The most interesting part of Thomas's arc, as we talked about, is his reaction to the two criminals who try to frame him after drugging him. Because of their kindness of not only inviting him over, but also making his favorite meal and allowing him to stay the night in their quote-unquote house, Thomas begins to slowly open up and realizes he could possibly trust people again. The wife's words also remind him of something his sister said, and mixed with what he sees on TV, he is put in a vulnerable state. This all comes crashing down as he realizes he's been drugged, and the two come in showing their true intentions. After shaking off the drug, Thomas doesn't trap them and tries to have them arrested, even though he knew his suspension was up. He instead responds by thanking them to remind him to not ever trust anyone again, and presumably severely beats them, leaving them laying there in the house. Again, Barnaby almost went off the end but was stopped. However, Thomas shows us a taste of it, and this is what's so interesting to me. This is the first time we really see a hero fall from grace by action and almost go the route of lunatic with taking justice into their own hands. It's also due to these two criminals that he's even more wary of his team, even right up until the battle with Hugon and Mugon. 
Thankfully, this is broken through to him by his partner Subaru as he sacrifices himself to protect Thomas from being injured. Perhaps the most ironic thing about Thomas is that despite being clad in nearly all white, he is the darker of the two compared to his partner because of his actions. Let's talk about the comparisons between both Barnaby and Thomas. When we first see them, both are new additions to the first League of Heroes and are very reserved. In both of their first cases, they also managed to assist their partner in some way during a robbery. Bunny being able to catch Kotetsu before he falls and Thomas stopping the robbers Mr. Black almost lets get away. Both are very reluctant to get along with the rest of the First League, refusing advice, being standoffish, and very untrusting of their partners at first, considering them to be meddling. However, both eventually go on to trust and warm up to this partner, with Barnaby initially starting to do so when he realizes Tiger had his back with Robin Baxter, and Thomas being saved by Subaru from an attack. Barnaby loses faith in both Kotetsu and Albert in different situations, two people he both trusted. The same thing happens to Thomas when he begins to trust the couple in their home, only realizing it to be a farce. Both heroes are considered to be the better of the two by their sponsors, and their partner is considered to be second fiddle. Although Kotetsu is a veteran, he is demoted to being back up to Barnaby until they stop Jake Martinez. After Subaru misses the emergency call, he is demoted to being back up to Thomas because of his barrier ability since Thomas is viewed as reliable. Although the name was given to him by his sponsor, both Thomas and Barnaby use their first names as part of their hero name. Thomas is the one that has to calm his partner down, much like Barnaby doing the same to Kotetsu when he wants to rush in as both are more level-headed. As mentioned before, while Barnaby almost loses control with a criminal, the difference is Thomas does lose it with not one, but three different criminals in two separate instances. Although they both consider their partner meddling, it's very clear that the partner shows concern for them, and the two pairs have a physical confrontation as a result of this. Thomas and Barnaby also manage to deduce how to defeat Hugon and Mugon, as Barnaby is also known for helping deduce villain's weakness in the past alongside Kotetsu. Barnaby is saved from an attack of lunatics by Kotetsu, and Thomas is saved from an attack by Hugon by Mr. Black. Kotetsu goes on to coach Barnaby on how to defeat Jake Martinez later on, and indirectly with Robin Baxter, while Subaru convinces Thomas he has to be the one to defeat Hugon and Mugon. This marks both Thomas and Bunny as the only two heroes to defeat mid-arc villains, with of course help from the teammates and partners. Unfortunately, both heroes became heroes as a result of their childhood trauma due to a loved one being hurt. Because of this, both display PTSD-like symptoms throughout the series in certain situations. Both of these heroes had a dark arc, Bunny due to being brainwashed by Albert Mavericks and Thomas because of his trauma. Thomas and Subaru have nearly identical suits with contrasting colors, which Tiger and Bunny both also have. Last but not least, both think their partner after defeating a major villain and recovering the hospital next to their partner. Here are my final thoughts on Thomas and what we can expect from him in the future. Thomas is certainly an interesting character and I would love to see more of him in the upcoming season. He is clearly a mix of both Bunny and Lunatic, walking the fine line between doing what's right and doing what he feels is justice by his own definition. It's very interesting to see a younger pair of Tiger and Bunny so to speak, as both have been mentored by their respective archetypes and also have gone through similar struggles of getting along, working together, and being there for their partner. I do hope we get to see another episode dedicated to Thomas, specifically with reuniting with his sister, as I feel he would have ran into her at some point before the second season takes place, but that could be just me. Thomas has tremendous potential as a hero, and if he continues to build his partnership with Subaru while also being mentored by both Tiger and Bunny, I think he'll continue to be a huge asset for the first League of Heroes. I would also love to see him interact with Lunatic, as I feel like there could be a story told with the two of how similar they are, with perhaps Thomas being taken under his wing and deciding for himself if he's a hero or a rogue hero. All in all, I can't wait to see how his future plays out. Whether you're a next or not, it's important to keep protecting what's important to you. That's why you should go with a trusted Stern Build Hero TV sponsor like NordVPN. Go to nordvpn.com slash strifethewarrior or use coupon code strifethewarrior to get a NordVPN two-year plan with a huge discount. Here's why you need to secure yourself with NordVPN. You can use it to unlock Netflix and your favorite entertainment websites that are not available here in the US. You can connect up to six devices at the same time with one account. There's no data logging whatsoever and it works even in China. If you're out and about using public Wi-Fi networks in places such as coffee shops and airports, NordVPN will protect you with double data encryption for increased anonymity. Origami is very good about slipping in and out and that's why he's so underrated. He knows that there's a time and place for a proper attack. NordVPN works with Windows, macOS, Linux, iOS, and Android, has a Chrome extension which is very user-friendly, and unlimited bandwidth. If you're not happy with it for any reason, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. NordVPN rose through the Hero TV ranks in 2021. 
Winning the Business Choice, Reader's Choice, and Best Tech Product of 2021 from PC Mag, Best Android VPN from Android Central, the Best All Around VPN from Expert Reviews, Best VPN Service from Forbes Advisor, and App Development Team of the Year from App Promotion Summit. It's also the only VPN to get all the green checks on PC Mag. So what are you waiting for? Go to NordVPN.com slash StrifeTheWarrior or use coupon code StrifeTheWarrior at checkout to secure yourself with NordVPN. Shout out to NordVPN for giving me the opportunity to be an affiliate. Let me know what you guys think down below. What do you think of He is Thomas? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, subscribe, share it with your friends and comment as these all help my channel grow. Be sure to check out and subscribe to my second gaming channel. I'm trying to get this channel to YouTube partner and supporting this channel also helps me support my main channel. I'll be uploading more clips to this gaming channel so stay tuned for that. Keep up with me on my socials via Instagram and Twitter. Shout out to my YouTube members, I appreciate the support. If you'd like to directly support the channel, consider becoming a member and enjoy perks such as behind the scenes updates, access to the VIP Discord, shout outs and videos, and more. Thanks for watching, stay beautiful, stay awesome, and we'll catch you around next time.